behalf of Rotherham Faith and community leaders, today we are again stunned into silence at the horror of mankind's ability to forsake all bonds of brotherhood and compassion and to recklessly descend into mindless hate-fueled violence towards the vulnerable and innocent. The philosophy behind such attacks that somehow seeks to justify acts of violence have no place in a modern civilised society. And today, yet again, we have to take our stand with tears in our eyes against the acts of such twisted and inhuman individuals. Our thoughts and prayers today rise heavenward for the families and friends who have lost their lives, been injured or scarred emotionally by these horrific events. We pray that in all unanswered questions that fill our minds, a peace beyond understanding would fill each and every heart. Many of those who left their homes and families that morning to meet and pray at the Al Noor or Linwood Mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand, did not return home that evening. Men and women will weep over their loss, and children will sit and stare and cry in unbelief that their loved ones they will see no more. Children's toys will be left today unplayed with, and there will be no laughter, no smiles, just an ache and silence as the world of their innocent comforts. We too pray for our Muslim friends around the world, that they too would experience peace in their hearts, that they would know that for our part they are loved, valued and honoured. As members of the faith community in Rotherham, we in these moments are one, together with you and your grief. We again commit ourselves to challenge, resist and expose hate wherever it is found in the hope that one day humanity will rise once and for all in its darkest past of hate to new sunlight days of faith, hope and love. So just these next few moments, let's just bow our heads and either pray or just simply remember or think of the lives of those that have been lost in New Zealand. Just pause for a second.